Hey, what's going on guys? We got a big, massive Premium Bandai Master Grade kit here that we're going to be taking a look at today. The kit itself, I feel like, is not going to be quite necessarily that huge. It's a big box though, as you can see, because this is the Master Grade Age 1 Full Galanza Designer Colors version. So I'm not exactly sure what's too different about the Designer Colors version necessarily, but uh, the Age 1 Normal is a really cool mobile suit. And I feel like, you know, I agree with those of you who are in the minority that feel like the Age 1 design in particular doesn't get enough appreciation. Uh, I do really like it. And I can't say that for, you know, every single design of every single mobile suit from Gundam Age. There's definitely some cool ones though that I think deserve some more love. And the HD Full Glanza is a kit that I have built a long time. Well, I guess I, I held up the MG, but the HD is one that I built and reviewed years ago. And then I'm really glad to now have the Master Grade version out here, even though it is a P-Bandai exclusive. This was available as just a set, just the Full Glanza set that you could get to then put on your MG uh, Age 1. I went for the full kit here just because I wanted to check it out and share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we got a cool design here on the box art photograph of the painted kit there with all the full glance of armor on there and then without there in the background. So of course that's removable sort of akin to like the full armor Gundam for example, basically. But this is a P-Bandai box, so there's not gonna be too much else to see here around on the sides. Just the titling in there, you got the same photo on the ends of the box. So let's go ahead and open it up. And right off the bat, there you can see there's those beautiful water slide decals, which I always hope to see more of, but at least in many, not even most, but some of the premium Bandai Master Grade kits, do include water slide decals, which is nice. You can see we have a lot of great little markings and stuff, white, red, and yellow, and then a couple of blue markings on here as well. So always great to see those included. And let's take a look at our instruction manual, which as I was kind of expecting is also in full color here. It's basically like a full manual there with the color, full color version of what we saw in the front of the box. On the back side, this is gonna be our decal guide right here, and then our paint guide is down there at the bottom as well. Everything is in Japanese and in English there, so very nice. Opening up to the front page, we've got our parts list, where you can see we are gonna have some leftover parts. That makes sense. And right here, it shows about the assembly flow. So it looks like we're building the Age 1 flat first, which is just kind of like the basic Gundam. And then we can build it then next either to the Age 1 flat with the Zafuld launcher, and then to the full Glanza. Or I guess the option is to go this way, just to go to the Age 1 Glanza and then to the full glance. So it's kind of like separating all the armor around on the body and like the backpack uh, cannons essentially basically right there. So a couple of different ways that you can build it. But then after that, it's on into the construction. You can see this is the kind of construction where it will show you all the runners that you need for each step along the way, which is always convenient. But that's how it's gonna go all the way till the end where it's talking about how to uh, put on and then in reverse would be how to remove the armor on some of these sections. And that's gonna take us basically all the way to the end here. We got some more decal guide right here, which is just gonna be like decals on the main Gundam body. The back side was basically for all of the equipment essentially. So there we go. We do also have a few foil stickers included, just a few there for the head, the eyes, the head cameras basically, and the cameras for the equipment, and that's it. And a couple more stickers in here. We've got these just mirror stickers that are gonna go in behind the clear parts on the chest and in the head as well was these black stickers which go on the knees of the Gundam right there. Getting into the runners then, we got PC207 for our polycaps here in gray, SB8 for our clear pink beam saber effect parts. We have both long and short type in that kind of like square, more angular shape. We do have an included action base, which is always nice. This is the BA13 action base for 100 scale kits. A really, really nice base to have included here. Another nice one is gonna be the MP runner for the hand parts, all for the kit. So it's gonna be swappable fingers there. And I can see a bit why this is designer colors now starting off with the a runner as this is a little bit more slightly purplish than it's usually quite blue in color there for the blue parts for the kit runner b here for our red parts is also a little bit more of like a deeper red color which looks quite nice runner c is our yellow accent parts for the kit runner d is our clear parts for in the head and the chest in this case they're in like a clear yellow which is quite interesting normally it's like a clear blue green 
Runner E is going to be some of our white parts there for the kit, including the pilot figures. Runner F is going to be some of the inner frame parts here. Again, very nicely detailed on some of those. Runner G, some more of the white armor pieces, and that's going to continue here onto Runner H as well. Some more of that very nicely detailed. I love like the little vent cutouts there in the arms and legs on the age one very cool and then runners i j and k are going to conclude all of our inner frame parts here in gray from the original kit so if you are just getting the age one gunham that would be all that you're going to get and it looks like we do looks like we have all the parts there for the original kit as far as i can tell but then we're going to get into our new runners for this kit starting off here with runner xa which we have two of here as you can see got some red parts there across the bottom some medium gray, some light gray, and then white parts up there across the top. So that means you are gonna have an extra V fin in there, it looks like. Runner XB, we're going to have two of as well. Some of the gray mechanical parts there for the new equipment. Runner XC1 is more parts in gray. XC2 is some parts there in that very nice red color. And then runner XD1 and XD2 are some more parts here in that dark purple color. It looks very nice, but that's everything. All right, guys, here it is all built up. An absolute beast of a kit. We've got a whole bunch of stuff here added on to our age one normal, and it's pretty awesome now in the full glance of form. We'll take a look at everything here, all the accessories. We got a few different ways that you can go about actually like arming it up. So we'll talk all about that now in the review portion here of the video. The long and short of it seems to be that it's adding awesome parts onto an already awesome kit. So I feel like it's going to be overwhelmingly a positive experience, but I am a little bit concerned about the weight of the backpack in particular. So let's go ahead and get into it talking about the accessories here first and anyway so on the note of stability obviously one thing that's going to be very important to hear is our kickstand there at the back very similar to like the high new verka had a similar kind of uh, attachment piece that you could put on there just to help it to stand up and not be falling backwards you could pose the kit without this and get it to stand you know just kind of depending on the pose but just for like a straight standing pose like this you're definitely going to want to have that and it's very convenient so that just plugs up underneath the bottom part of the backpack right there and works well. As far as our other new accessories other than what's on the kit at the moment, we have these parts here for the cannons at the back. Now basically you're going to go here on the back. We have the Zeffold launcher which is right here. This part you can omit, so you can just take that out and just swap it out. Each of these options do have a kind of interesting gimmick, so just wanna kind of share that with you guys. This part will open up there, as you can see, and there is like a mechanism that actually could just like slide that forward, and it opens up, and there we have this big massive missile inside, which does have a three millimeter hard point that you can actually put this onto an effect part or something and have this like flying out of there, so that's pretty cool, just stores in there and then closes up, so a pretty cool mechanism there for that. Similarly, the cannons have a pretty cool gimmick in that when you press this part right here forward, it kind of expands that out, pushes all the parts out, and everything's all expanded like that. So it's like less noticeable, but it is a cool effect. You just press that and it pushes everything out like that. So it's gonna look really cool on the kit. But just to cover the rest of our accessories here real quick, we've got the original shield here, which is just going to attach onto the back of the arm in place of the Galanza parts there if you want. You also have the original beam rifle. And the clear parts for the beam rifle are in clear orange, so I left that one in clear orange just to show you. But the other one right here, I did go ahead and put the foil sticker over the top of that. You have a foil sticker for both, and so you can choose whichever one you want. But that one inside of there right there, just because it's like housed inside this dark gray part, you can't really see the fact that it's orange. So if you want this to be like more visible, using the sticker is a good option. That said, for this one, because this clear part goes all the way through, you will get light channeled through from the front to back, and you can see that orange kind of quite nicely there. So it's kind of an interesting part there for the beam rifle, but otherwise this just works in the standard way. You can fold the uh, secondary handle out, rotate that part there for a two-handed grip on this if you wanted. Otherwise, this is just going to be just kind of an added accessory that you're probably not really going to use too much with this kit, just considering all the other weaponry that we have just kind of built into it. We do also, of course, have our beam saber effect parts, two long and two short ones here, and the beam saber handles themselves are going to be stored up inside the side skirts right there, so you can pop these out. But these beam effect parts can also be used here in the Galanza parts for the forearm by plugging that into there like so, which again is pretty cool. 
Other than that, we've just got some option parts here for the hands. If you guys are unfamiliar with the MG Age hands, they basically just have swappable fingers. So you're gonna swap the fingers. In this case, those are the ones for making a closed fist. We've also got options for just weapon holding, which you would use for the beam saber handles. And trigger finger hands for the left and the right side if you wanted to use those as well as fingers for making just open expressive hands. So you do have some nice options there. And last but certainly not least is our very much welcomed action base here, which is the action base 13, the legendary action base 13, which is not sold on its own, unfortunately, but it is, in my opinion, the best action base, especially for 100 scale kits that Bandai makes. They unfortunately just only package it with certain 100 scale kits usually and don't sell it on its own yet. Hopefully that will change sometime in the future. In this case, it's gray, which is pretty unusual. Usually it's in black, but it looks great. And so that will be a very well condition here for this hefty boy. All right, so on the topic of the kit itself, I'm just gonna kind of separate the backpack here. So you can make this as either just the uh, Glanza, which is just, or just the age one Glanza here, which is basically just this as you see it like that. Or you can make it without all the extra armor on there and just having the backpack on there to make it as the age one flat Zephul the launcher. And so there's options that you can do to make it as the full Glanza. You're just going to basically combine everything all together. So just to remove that, uh, action stand there. Here on the backpack, these wing parts will move up and down a little bit. The launchers themselves are just attached via a ball joint and that's what kind of seems to be a little bit too weak for the weight of this. Otherwise, they rotate front to back, which that joint seems to be strong enough to hold up the weight, but you can see the ball joint is not quite enough. So just kind of depending on how you have it posed, hopefully that won't really be too much of an issue, but those can rotate around everywhere where you need. There is a handle here. The handle will flip up for you can like rotate this up underneath the arm and then use the handle to hold this up. And that should be enough to support it. We'll find out here in just a minute once we get to posing it, but some very nice detail all around here on this, some nice color separation of some parts like inside the vents there and just all the detail around on the outside, just with a little bit of panel lining, or if you wanna fully paint the kit, it's going to look very nice. On the main kit, again, we have a clear part for the eyes and the head camera right up there, but I just thought for the purposes of the video anyway, and for the time being, the metallic stickers actually are just, they're just gonna look nicer. Obviously, if you wanted to do some painting or something, you could make it look good with some paint, but I think the metallic stickers actually do work pretty well in this case. We have another gold sticker for the camera on the back of the head there. That also looks nice. And overall, all of the Glanza armor is actually really easy to attach onto there. The shoulder armor, this chest armor here, for example, pretty much just like... Well, I was gonna say it pretty much easily slots into place, but this is one of the problems that I do have with this kit. As much as I love the age one normal, the chest assembly is a little bit funky. Actually, what happened right there is that the chest vents fell out just because of the way that they're attached into there are actually not attached, but this does give us an opportunity to take a look inside the cockpit. So you do have your seated pilot figure in there. I actually didn't show this to you earlier talking about the accessories, but we do have our standing 100 scale uh, pilot figure here as well. But yeah, I do find this chest assembly on this kit to be a little bit frustrating just because everything's kind of like very loosely attached until you get it to, uh, like fully connected and pressed on there. Once it's on there, it's good. It's solid, nothing's gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna fall apart, and it works well, it works as it's supposed to. And on a side note, if you didn't want this flat piece there in the chest, you do have the clear part to put in there, which is in clear orange, which I think would look pretty cool. But like I was saying, most of the armor here, the added armor, is just plug and play, so you just like, Plug it onto there like that and you're good to go. Same thing here with the added armor around on the front and back skirts. Those just basically clip onto there. There's two pieces, a front and a back piece that clip around the existing skirt armor. And then down here at the lower leg, it's basically four sections with a couple of added pieces there for like the gray de detail. We have like an inner piece, outer piece, front piece, and back piece that just kind of all connect around the lower leg. So it's very straightforward. This part here at the front of the knee does open up like that. And again, you have a little kind of micro missile in there in the front of the knee. Otherwise, there's no other real moving parts to that. It's pretty much just added armor just snapped onto the lower leg. Up here in the shoulder armor, we also have some little missile doors here on the front and back that kind of pop out and then slide down for some very nice color separated little missile parts in there. And those don't actually come out, so they're not functional as like little bits that you can like have firing out. You'd have to modify it. But again, a really cool little 
extra gimmick. And then of course these parts right here to work the same way as the shield, just connect onto the back of the arm. They don't have any other kind of like added uh, gimmick or anything. They don't like extend out or open or close or anything. And you can plug the beam saber effect into there, but otherwise that's about it, but still very cool. Uh, parts here. I do really like these this aspect of the design. All right, so let's take a look at some poses here with this now. And I have to say, I was concerned about the weight of the parts in the backpack, and it's really not too bad. It will just kind of depend. I think for certain poses, you could run into issues with the weight, but I think you have plenty of posing options available where the weight isn't going to be an issue for you. So that's good. I think a lot of that's just due to the fact that you have the handles built into those cannon parts. So whichever attachment you have there, either the cannon parts or the missile launcher parts added for those, as long as you're using the handles and having the hands like holding onto the handles, then it's enough to support the weight. That said, if you wanted to have those posed in some way where like you weren't utilizing the handles, you might be running into some issues. But overall, it's a good solid kit. Very nice. I love the age one master grade kit. It's a really nice kit. There are a couple of uh, interesting parts about the construction that do make it a little bit frustrating. But all in all, it's a really great looking kit. It does everything that you need it to do. And it's a very affordable kit to just I'm talking about just the age one normal in general and it's other different forms. Now this one obviously is going to be a bit more expensive just because of all the added parts and the fact that it's an exclusive kit, but I would say if you're a fan of the design, it's definitely worth checking out. That said, if you can't really stomach the price of this, I would recommend checking out the HG of this kit just because uh, I built it and reviewed it years ago and I actually really, really enjoyed it. So if you did want to get a age one full glanza, that is certainly an option that should be kind of easier to get, assuming that it's been reprinted anytime recently. And I don't know if it has offhand, but at the very least, it's not a premium Bandai exclusive kit. So in theory, it should be easier to get. Although I'm not sure with this one being recently released, it could be just kind of equally, if not, this one might be actually be easier to get your hands on. But it's a really cool kit. I'm definitely a fan. Uh, I do like the slightly different colors to this being the designer's colors version. Ultimately, I would plan on painting it anyway, just because in general, while I really, really like this design, it's I'm not too big of a fan of the color scheme of the full Glanza. But just as far as this release goes, I think that the colors that it's molded in do look pretty nice. That uh, kind of dark, slightly purplish, bluish, color there for the added glance of armor and then that nice kind of slightly desaturated dark red color there for the backpack really cool colors here for this so all in all a very cool kit and whether you're a fan of the age series or not and it seems like there aren't too many of them out there i would highly recommend checking out this kit or any version of the master grade age one and it hopefully we'll see some more in the future some more master grade age kits because they're all uh, so far have been really quite nice the limited number that there are of them but if you never have and the reason is just because you're not that much into age as a series I would say check them out if you're a fan of mass grade kits they're definitely some of the best ones that are out there in my opinion so I'd highly recommend you guys try out one of the master grade age kits if you get the chance but let me know your guys thoughts on this kit down in the comment section below what do you think if you guys want to check out some more Gundam models master grade or otherwise you can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam store down in the video description just below the video there and as always guys thank you so much for all of your support liking the video commenting subscribing all helps out quite a bit so really appreciate your guys support. Till next time, hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.